In this video, we'll take a look at Lanto Griffin's golf swing. Very cool golf swing, does a lot of work on the downswing to get the club back into a good position. You can see from the setup, very tall posture. We'll see it from another angle as well. Uh, strong grip. And as he gets this thing up to the top, picks it up pretty quickly and gets it up pretty high. Very simple looking backswing, just straight up he goes. And at this point, based on the angles, he looks like he's up too high. We'll see once again from another angle. But then I really wanted to show you this angle because we can see the drop that he, how low he starts to get coming into the ball. Certainly gets the left hip moving out of there and creating massive downloading. So as he goes up, not a lot of hinge and really downloads it. And for all the players that if you're struggling with right and left shots and you're a good player, chances are you're up and out of your posture. So these great players on the PGA Tour, they learn that you know, as a kid probably, or through coaching, that the lower you are when you're coming through for a lot of these swings, the better you're gonna hit the ball. Certainly with the iron play, it'll be more consistent. And you can see just how much he's dropped coming into this shot and through impact and beyond, and then back up into a taller posture. But to get that club to exit properly and get around to this side of the plane, he has to get lower. Lots of lag. And super low there, you can see. Very cool look. Also has a great release. We'll see from another angle as well. Through this bottom part of the arc here, where that club face stays nice and square. For the iron swing, once again from this angle, we can see the tall posture. Very upright as he starts out. And like a lot of players that are learning to stand a little more upright, a little more natural, uh, it actually kind of goes back to some of the old days where you see those old black and white photo photos where guys are standing a little more upright and then creating more speed and, and power coming down. They're not getting that ultra angular athletic look that you see with some players through the 80s and 90s, but they're actually getting taller. And once again, this club goes right up the plane, picks it straight up. Good triangle out in front of the chest look, kind of a three quarter action. And then here comes the power move, creating tons of lag and blurry a little bit, but this club is really shallowing like crazy into the legs nicely. And now watch as he keeps dropping. You can see those hands really start to go left. Got the left wrist flat there, the right wrist is bent backwards. And there's that awesome impact. The hands back on the plane. Not wildly open like some players are, that's for sure. But way down low and the hands super left and that creates that club face stability we talked about in some other videos. So as it releases, the club face isn't slamming shut so hard. It's just square early and releases for power, but doesn't roll over. And that creates the accuracy, of course, that these guys are all after. Into the finish, it, hurts. it almost has that held on look to some degree. It does release, of course, but that gives you, like I said, the control this shot will run it through here just a little farther. Just flagged it, very cool shot. As we've done in some other videos, we'll take a quick look at his putting here. And I love this view because we can see this, this arched wrist sort of look at a dress. So that shaft lining up perfectly with a forearm. And that allows the club to work on the right plane and keep the club face square. You will almost never see this day and age, a good player putting with the grip low down here. It's always going to be so the shaft is up there, the face is square, of course, but the, the club head is flat on the ground. And with the, ar the, the arch in the wrist actually allows you to control the club face much easier than if your hands get too low or in a, a position where they can flip around a little bit. One more angle here with the, the putter. Shaft angle there. You can see it's super upright looking because of the arch wrist which really allows him all the great putting fundamentals the more you study those fundamentals in putting the better you'll putt proper club fitting arch wrist proper putter length lie eyes over the line all those things very helpful just to get the ball started on your target line from this view we'll see a little bit of his routine he does the quarter waggle 
quarter swing waggle back here. And if you focus in on his hands and wrists, you can see how he's very aware of the club face. Left wrist almost bowing already, right hand on top. And that keeps the club face in an excellent position here, nice and square, not twisting open too much, which allows him to have that face control. So he does the quarter waggle, takes a look, gets comfortable and goes. And as a tall player, the club goes up high, pretty steep angle with the shoulders there. And as he comes down, drops into it. And this impact here for these wedges, I mean, that is purely Trevino. Feet flat on the ground, hands in front. And that is a really cool looking angle there. Look at the, hold on, that's incredible. And that really allows him to, like we say, control that club face with these wedges. And if you're a player that struggles with your wedges, you know, get those feet under control, especially that back foot, just plant it on the ground through impact. And it will help you get the control you're looking for. And if that foot comes up later, no problem, but make sure it's on the ground when you strike the ball. And that gives you the control. One more view of a wedge shot here, a little pitch little open stance, same tall posture. There's that club up the plane perfectly. Not a lot of wrist cock, definitely helpful for wedge shots, especially inside of 50, 40 yards, somewhere in that, where, that range or, or closer to the green. Uh, less hinge helps you. It gives you a more shallow approach angle. Left wrist totally flat. Shallows it out. There's that club head right on the plane already. And we know from the other angle, he's got that handle in front. Club face totally square. Once again, completely grounded, which keeps that club on plane through impact. And the more you raise up, the more the club gets off plane and challenges that low point. There's the hands around the corner. And now he comes up and look at the club face there. Totally held open. A lot of ways to do it. And just I love studying these swings to see how many different ways guys have their own little nuances of how they hit these amazing shots. One more angle here on an iron shot, just to see how good he can plane this thing back out. Keeping that club up on the plane slightly above. And to some players, they were, or coaches would probably say this is a shoulder plane sort of backswing where that club head is tracking up and the left arm is up on the shoulder plane, the hands up on the shoulder plane. Or a, certainly a line that goes up across the top of the shoulders. And then back down to the original plane as he comes through and right on it. I mean, that is just fantastic. Okay, lastly, a quick look at the driver here which for him, as he gets the club up to the top, so that three quarter action really loads it coming down. Massive shallowing move. Great to see that thing just laying back completely on the way down. And just what's required here at this point with the water left and in the lead, uh, he's not gonna hit this ball over here. So chances, and this, one, this ball did go right, but chances are when he's really ripping it down the middle, he's gonna be very aggressive through this area, certainly with the rotation of his body to make sure that that thing just goes right down the middle. But one like this, he, chances are he's just holding on a little bit because missing it right doesn't cost him anything. Missing it left is no good here. But we can see that same drop in level. Totally dropping into, into position there. Awesome release, that club whips through there. It's amazing how fast it goes from this point up to this point, and then up into a full finish. Super cool swing, love looking at this swing and studying it. Okay, well that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Lanto Griffin, great young player. Can't wait to watch his career take off. If it's your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.